Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Politics and Why Meet Your Candidates in 2022. I'm Jane Hansen, and I ask three questions in three minutes. And today we are talking with Amanda Field, who is running for the Assembly District 15, which is out on Long Island, Beth Page, Hicksville, Plainberry, Woodbury, um, that whole area in there. Uh, and it is her first run for an assembly office. So, Amanda? What is it that makes you want to run? Thank you so much. And thank you for having me here today, Jane. So I decided to run for the seat. I was actually nominated as a Democratic nominee because I feel that I can really make some changes up in the state. To give you a little bit about my history and background, in 2016, I was elected commissioner of the Plainview Water District. Earlier on in my early years, um, a couple years earlier, I was diagnosed with cancer at a very young age. I had no idea why, no family history, didn't understand. So I started looking into reasons why and issues and environmental issues. And at around that same time, I was told about a position for a commissioner that there was an election coming up. I didn't even know that that had existed, but I decided to throw my hat in the ring, really look into it, understand what was going on. There was a major issue in my town with our water, with copper pinhole leaks in the pipes. I threw my hat in the ring and I beat an 18 year incumbent, two to one, as well as another candidate that had run against me. And I immediately got involved at a state level. Um, seeing what was going on in 2017 with our emerging contaminants, we didn't have any laws or rules to regulate for those contaminants, but the governor had formed a drinking water quality council and I got involved at that level attending all those meetings. I was elected to the executive board of the NASA Suffolk Water Commissioners Association, where I became president last year, and also on the co-chair of the legislative committee of the Long Island Water Conference. And what those two you know, associations mean and, and what I had done during my tenure there, and I am still the, the legislative chairs of, of both of those mm -hmm. committees, was I really got involved kind of explaining to all levels of government, getting all stakeholders involved, really communicating to the public what was really going on because everyone's so scared of what's going on with our water, what's going on with our health, how can we protect our public health? This obviously will be a big issue for you if you get into the assembly. Uh, what else, what other issue will you focus on? Um, definitely our economy, our safety here on Long Island, being able to afford to stay here so that when our children leave and if they go off to college or trade school or whatever they're doing, they'll be able to stay together. It's important for families to stay together and, and you know, be able to be near each other if they choose to do so. But, you know, the reasons why people leave shouldn't be because they cannot afford to stay here. If it's for other opportunities and reasons, that's understandable. But that's a big issue. Um, our safety here in our you know, what's happened with, you know, the increase in gun violence, the increase in mental health, and how that connects to our society, both with our school districts, and with our police force and our safety and crime, um, and, and our gun safety here. Absolutely. Our, and, our, and again, quickly, one little thing we might not know about you. Um, one little thing you might not know about me is that I actually was a creative director um, in a VP in creative. Um, for 25 years, I ran a large staff of about 50 people, and now I completely changed careers because I was so, you know, passionate about standing up for the public and being protective of public health and also of people's rights and our rights to also pro-choice. That's another thing that I forgot to mention before. Best of luck to you on the campaign trip. I appreciate it. And um, keep going. And, All right. Uh, thank you so much. It was wonderful being welcome. here. And thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm Jane Hansen, and I'll see you next time.